Good morning and welcome to WJZ.com. A day very much like yesterday in look and feel. Let's start off with the feel. Temperature wise, about the same temperature as 7 a.m. as this time yesterday. Conversationally speaking, right around 60, 83, 62, your normal daytime high, normal overnight low. Oh, and by the way, it is going to be a beautiful evening. I'm making this for you at 7 a.m., 7 p.m. this evening. On this shift, we always think, of, James, am I, am I telling the truth? We're always thinking about, it's one of those things, we're always thinking about dinner. This evening, turkey breast time on the grill. You bet it's going to happen. Hashtag always Thanksgiving. After a high of 78, 79, 75 degrees, we'll have a mixture of clouds and sun in the area through the day and this evening. And through the day and this evening, we'll still have shower activity sitting just down to our south. Very much like yesterday, high pressure north of the area is suppressing an area of low pressure over the Carolinas. This east-northeast flow is again keeping shower activity out of the immediate metro area by Wednesday morning. The high is going to start breaking down. Shower activity starts to lift toward the 95 quarter. It's only a matter of time before Wednesday night that we'll see uh, some shower activity actually enter the area. Thursday's kind of going to be a washout. Even down south, no severe weather expected, just shower activity. Again, the high breaks down. Here comes a low, and look at this bubble of hot air out to the south and west. That's really going to define the week's end and into the weekend. Hot and humid, that's for sure. Today, 78 cloud and sun, shower south overnight tonight. Call it mostly cloudy, shower south, 62 as a low. Look at the seven-day forecast. This day, again, 78, 79 degrees. Tomorrow, 76, a passing shower enters the outlook. Showers around Thursday. Chance of afternoon thunder shower. Friday and Saturday. Saturday summer starts 543. 84 and 3 shy and 90. 92 hot and humid Sunday and Monday. Thank you so much for stopping by WJZ.com.